When I take on a new uh, client, uh, we don't start by talking about a philanthropic exercise or how this will be marketed. We have to understand how uh, these businesses uh, make money. Uh, and here, it's a global phenomenon, but let's just focus on the US. You know, there's been one, a democratization of economic, political, and social capital, and that's an irreversible uh, trend. Just in the US, when you think that 89% of the population by the year uh, 2050 will live in cities, mm -hmm. and when you think that $37 trillion of wealth will pass from my parents' uh, generation, my generation, to millennials or Gen Zs. Uh, we know that over the course of the next 10, 20 years, urbanization will continue. We know gentrification uh, will continue. And that impacts all of our businesses. And so we have to think about our work in the context of uh, uh, making our businesses uh, successful or clients. Uh, for many of you. First of all, for all of you, uh, it's it, hard work. It is hard work. Um, but the first thing you have to do is recognize the dissonance between political cycles and business cycles. The political cycle is something that lasts 18 to 24 months. One. Two, it's driven by a series of financial objectives often measured on a monthly uh, basis, and then events, primaries, debates, but then it's over. It's over. And so the media uh, and the influencers that cover that environment, they are working towards a zero-sum event. A business cycle, as you all know, lasts roughly five years. It's measured on a quarterly uh, basis. Uh, it is, by definition, not transactional, like politics. It's transformational. Uh, and it is not a zero-sum uh, effort. Uh, it's incremental, and it builds uh, over time. You have to be very disciplined, but first and foremost, uh, recognize the, the dissonance between what's going on politically and what you have to uh, accomplish uh, uh, within your business. Pele, I'll use it in exchange with a client um, that I recently uh, had a potential client, so, and we don't disclose our clients, but um, uh, someone in the energy uh, sector, and we were talking uh, recently, and he was beating up on woke capitalism. I said, well, for, set aside the rhetoric. Set aside the rhetoric. Help me understand what you are trying to accomplish. Tell me about your business. And he said three things in the US which uh, I thought were fascinating. He said the grid in the US uh, has been built over the last uh, 100 years to serve uh, commercial areas, uh, right? Uh, our downtowns. Uh, the grid over the course of the next 40 years must be focused on serving residential areas. Why? Because we're working there, we're living there, we're entertaining there, and we're going to be charging our vehicles uh, there. And the grid today is not built uh, for that uh, function. I said, OK, I got that. So tell me how your business must innovate in order to uh, disrupt your competition. He says, well, OK, I've got to provide more power closer to where the consumers are. Uh, I've got to do it uh, cheaply, and I've got to do it efficiently. And then I said, tell me about your stakeholders. She says, well, my consumers want it to be inexpensive. Uh, the regulators want it to be uh, uh, reliable. Uh, my employees want it to be safe, as do my consumers. And my investors want it to be profitable. I said, there is your sustainable agenda. There, all you have to do is understand who those stakeholders are, prioritize them, and innovate within your business uh, to, meet, um, to meet those objectives. I tell people, and this may not be politically correct, I don't care, uh, the answers will not be found in Times Square, or Aspen, or Davos. We spend so much time in rooms like this. You have to get out. Uh, 
uh, in two communities. And there's something that absolutely magical happens when you do this, dozens of times. When you're asking someone versus telling someone, I don't care if it's institutional investors, employees, consumers, clients, when you're asking someone versus telling someone, um, it's a very different discussion. And that's whether you're in a red state or a blue state, that's just human nature. Get out and engage your most thoughtful and vocal critics first. They're criticizing because they care, right? When you're asking, not telling. Uh, when, you're, when you're saying, hey, here is my problem, uh, can you help me with the solution? The magic happens, which is partnership. Um, because there, you have uh, deposited trust, uh, you've shown some humility, uh, you've created goodwill, and I've seen this time and time uh, again. All you really need to do is ask, uh, and then actively listen. And each of those set of stakeholders uh, will help you craft, uh, craft solutions.